the OBS Detect plugin can detect objects in any OBS source, I would like to detect objects in this media file. Enable the Detect filter and right away start detecting objects on my scene. Hi everyone, Roy here. Today I want to share with you the OBS Detect plugin that allows you to detect objects in any scene on OBS. You can find the Detect plugin in the OBS plugin forums or on GitHub. Just go on the forum page and hit the download button and that will open the download section in GitHub. Find the installer that you need for your operating system. In this case I'm using Windows so I'm going to click that. Once the file is downloaded, open it and install using the provided installer. Just run through the steps of the installer until it finishes and the plugin is installed on your system. Once the plugin is installed, head on to OBS. The OBS Detect plugin can detect objects in any OBS source that has an image. For example, I have this media file here playing in the background and I would like to detect objects in this media file. So. I'm going to head over to filters and enable the detect filter and that is going to right away start detecting objects on my scene. In this case the default option will be to detect up to 80 categories of objects like person and different kinds of items. As you can see the detections are sometimes flickering. To address that we could enable the continuous tracking option which will make the detections much smoother and more consistent. The other options that the OBS Detect filter allows is to mask out or track objects. So let's try the masking option. I'm going to enable that and set the masking to blur. It will increase the blur size and you'll see all the objects now are being blurred. Since we have a little bit of bleed through, especially when objects are moving, we can increase the dilation parameter which would make the detection boxes bigger. We can also select pixelate and select the size of the pixelation or we can set the masking to be transparent and show the objects that are behind this in the OBS scene. The second thing is how to detect faces. In this case we would go all the way down here and change the model options. In this model options list we can select either small, medium or large object detection options that have the default 80 objects but we also have this face detection model. We can click that and that will enable only face detection. You will see now that just the faces are detected and blurred out with our masking. With the other models, we can change things like the confidence threshold. If we decrease it, we're going to have more objects in the scene detected. If we increase it, only high confidence objects are going to be detected. We can also filter out by the minimal size of the object so that very small detected objects will not be picked up. If I set this all the way up, you see only the very big detections are going to come in. We also have options here to use the GPU or the CPU and the number of threads. The other option that we could use in the OBS Detect plugin is to save the detections to a file. I can browse and select where I want to save my detections and now all of my detections are going to be saved into this file in real time. These are my detections going through into this file with every frame of the video. Next, let's see how the Object Detect plugin can be used for tracking objects in the scene. I have a scene here of a highway with cars driving by. The first thing we could do is to allow the plugin to only pick up the area where the cars are. That is using the crop region here under advanced settings. I will enable crop region and that will allow me to set the left, right, top and bottom area where I would like the detection to happen and exclude anything out of that area. We can see the cars are being picked up now only in the region of the crop. Next up, I would like to track one single object as it rolls through and change the scene so that we only see that object. I will enable tracking here. Tracking has a number of options. First, the zoom factor. I can set the zoom to zero and that's not going to do much cropping or, or tracking or zooming. I can set the zoom factor bigger and this will make the zoom effect bigger. There are several options for which object to zoom on. I can set it to all and this will try to take all the visible and detected objects in the scene into account. If I select biggest, 
then the biggest detected object in the scene will get priority and will be used for tracking. If I select oldest, then the oldest tracking object or the first object that entered the scene will be tracked as long as the tracker is able to keep up with it. This is the object detection plugin for OBS. Get it on GitHub today. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.